video it's that time of the year gamestop pro week is coming up once again in this video today we're going to talk about the october 8th pro week sale and five things that need to happen to make it a really successful one let's get started what is going on guys jim here at a video today i know it's been a little bit but some really big personal things are really going on and i'm gonna push this channel more and more starting now seriously guys we need to make some more videos on this channel i made one in like one month but that's besides the point so stay tuned for further videos coming next week i am so sorry i really appreciate you guys sticking around you guys are amazing this has been a really really rough time but i'm telling you right now you are the ones that keep me going with this channel and i really appreciate it and i'm glad you enjoy this content before we get started today's video guys definitely consider hitting that subscribe button like this video comment down below by the end of the video what your predictions are for this pro week coming up now let's talk about it real quick so yes this is pro week let's talk about some key things to know before we get to that though this is something that happens once every few times maybe four or five times a year but this one i really have high hopes for and let's talk about it so starting off with some key things to know with gamestop is obviously where it's at where gamestop gamestop online so yes you can get it in store and online this pro week is going to last like i said a whole week when it's going to be sun sunday october 8th at 1 a.m eastern time for online and whenever the store opens for obviously the stores obviously i don't think anything is open 24 7 let me in the comment section below if you have a store that's open 24 7 it's gamestop uh also keep in mind this ends on the 15th or 14th you'll see on the screen right here also what game GameStop Pro Week deals, yes, you're going to get a massive amount of deals for Pro Week, especially since we're headed towards Black Friday. This is probably going to be the only one until after Black Friday, so this could be a big deal. Uh, why? This is a normal once in every few months deal for GameStop Pro members, and it's only a GameStop, so it's, it's a big incentive for GameStop to get their members to show up for this deal and to pay to get this kind of deal. Prediction number one, PlayStation 5, Xbox, Switch deals. I'm talking Xbox Series X. I'm not talking Xbox One. I'm not talking about that elite garbage. I'm talking about the actual X or the S. Also, the Nintendo Switch. I'm not talking about just the Switch either. I'm talking about the OLED, the the, the Red Mario Bundle, even though that's pretty plain for a Mario Bundle. I think, I think that's what it is, right? Also, I want to see a PlayStation 5 deal. I know there's been a deal with Sony, $50 off PS5s, but how about Spider-Man's console? I literally just bought it. I'm probably going to cry myself to sleep if I find out that's on sale because GameStop doesn't price match a month away. So there's that, but I'm just joking. But seriously, the PlayStation 5, hopefully it's got deals as well. Any deal at all is good when it comes to the consoles. Get a gift card, could be a game. So for Xbox, it could be Starfield or something weird like that. Or something like Forza, even though it's not out yet, they could have, you know, for Nintendo Switch, they could have Mario Kart 8, since that's an every freaking system deal. Or they can have Smash Brothers, or even maybe even Wander, it could be just like a digital code, just like, just like Spider-Man was, because you can't use it yet, so it's pretty similar to that. Also, for the PlayStation 5 deal, I would love to see the Spider-Man console until, like I said... But that will really piss me off at the same time because I literally just bought it. Overall, if you're looking for a console, hopefully this comes true because we're, what, in route to Black Friday. Uh, we're, what, a month and a half away. So I think this is probably going to be a big deal if there's going to be console deals at GameStop. Prediction number two, Pokemon 151 drops and deals. Now let's talk about Pokemon 151. Yes, this is mostly a gaming channel. We talk about gaming. Pokemon is a gaming thing, but the cards themselves aren't considered gaming unless you're playing the card game. But that's that. So yes, Pokemon 151 was one of the most highly anticipated sets, and obviously it delivers. It came out about two weeks ago. This week there's more product coming out. The Ultra Premium Collection, the Zapdos, Alakazam, and all the tins. There's so many things coming out. Uh, that came out today but when it first came out there was etbs booster bundles and honestly there has been very low stock in some stores and some very weird and high stock in other stores i see it going quickly i see online going out of stock the binder bundles are hard to find the poster collections hard to find the booster bundles are hard to find because it's obviously the best pack per ratio when you want to open packs but this is what i really want to know can this be a big thing for Pro Week. I know there's a Pokemon event today, Friday, for some drops of that stuff, but I doubt it's going to be anything remarkable because of the, the new Detective Pikachu games. So, for my games, say. But seriously, the booster bundles, the UPCs, your Ultra Premium Collection is what it's called. Those two things are very difficult to find online and in store. 
because of the discount and because of the pack per ratio for the booster bundle. And the UPC is obviously got a gold Mew, an alternate art Mew, and an alternate art Mew 2 in there. Some good stuff. 16 packs. We need some deals on that. Maybe some deals. I doubt it. I doubt we're going to see the buy one and get one 50% off thing because it was kind of a glitch when this, when this happened back in the summer. So maybe we'll see something. Hopefully some 151 deals to come our way. Back to some more card stuff. Prediction number three. Disney Lorcana stock possibly. If you know what Disney World Arcana is, you must know that this is like trying to find a gold mine inside Atlantis, if that makes any sense. This is insane. This is literally trying to find treasure in Atlantis. No joke. This is as weird as it sounds because Atlantis cards are probably in this, but for Disney stuff, as corny as that sounds, I really, really want to talk about Disney World Arcana. Disney World Arcana has been literally impossible to find. It's literally ancient like Aerodactyl is. We're back to Pokemon, but seriously, this is so freaking difficult to find. On at Walmart, people are scalping it. At Target, they're scalping it. It's not even in stock at most of the stores across the country, I'm sure. I've heard really crazy stories about Lorcana. I try to find Lorcana, and the best time was Target Online on day one and GameStop in store on day one, and I haven't seen it since. I've seen maybe a few packs here and there, but it is one of the hardest things to find. It is getting scalped to the moon. It's, it's ridiculous. I don't like it. I, I really hope Disney Lorcana has some sort of stock availability for GameStop because GameStop hasn't had it since day one. Unless you find a theme deck or a gift box in the, in the Mississippi River somewhere, all joking aside, maybe you'll find it in Mississippi, maybe you'll find it in Jackson, Mississippi, maybe you'll find it in Little Rock, Arkansas. What I'm trying to say is it's in this few and far in between places. Not You're not going to find it in big cities like New York and California. Uh, obviously, they were scalped, but seriously, Disney Lorcana can GameStop have stock for it because it is a highly, highly popular thing. It's for it's very hard to find, and honestly, the second set's about to come out, and it's going to be just as bad if they don't have a stock for it. Yeah, they're doing a restock and a reprint, but how is that really going to hold demand when it's Disney? So yes, Disney Lorcana, can GameStop have some sort of drop for it? We'll find out. Only time will tell. Back to some gaming stuff. So we're going to talk about possible deals on newer games. So right now, you see on the screen right here, there's five games I have on the screen. Some of these games, or all these games, are going to be on sale in some, some sort of way. So you got Street Fighter VI, obviously. We talked about that last time with Diablo and Final Fantasy. Those games never went on sale for that deal. But now, fast forward to two months later, I think it's possible to see Diablo, Final Fantasy, and Street Fighter on sale. Let's talk about those first. Street Fighter is a really, really, really good fighting game if you like the online type of stuff. Uh, it's selling well. Obviously, it could sell probably better in terms of, like, you know, outpacing games like Spider-Man coming out probably. But I'm just saying, Street Fighter 6, a PlayStation 5 exclusive, should be maybe 10 or 20 off, so that'd be cool. Same with Diablo. Diablo has been out since June, I think, and I think that's another game that needs to drop as well. And Final Fantasy 16. Final Fantasy 16 is the one I would say that's going to be a harder chance out of the three, but I think Final Fantasy 16 would be a great price drop as well. Also, two other games came out later in the summer and earlier in the spring were Hogwarts Legacy, a very highly anticipated Harry Potter uh, game, and it did really well. And it's never really been on sale, so that would be really cool to see that 20, maybe 30 off. And then Dead Island 2, the game that took like 50 years to make, it literally came out to be a great game, actually. And, uh, Let's talk real quick before we continue. These games are the ones I think that are possibly going to be on sale for Pro Week and uh, obviously Black Friday if you want to wait for that. But let's talk about what we're here for in this Pro Week. Here are some games that I think are a very slim and low chance of showing up. Chances of finding these five games on sale right now is probably the chances of Lorcana being in stock and possibly trying to find a Willy Wonka golden ticket at this point. So... Uh, for real though, Forza comes out this Friday, or this Tuesday coming up, sorry, and I think that's going to be a big one. I don't think it's going to be on sale, but it is during Pro Week, so there's a little chance of that. Starfield came out about a month ago. Even though it's doing really good and really bad, I think Starfield is going to be a game that's probably going to be on sale if these five games if I had to pick one. These three, I really do not see them be on sale. Mortal Kombat just came out, the new reboot. I love the game. It's so amazing. Uh, I think I could see it going off $10 on sale maybe uh, for this pro week. Black Friday, your better chance, obviously, with these five games and the other ones, obviously. Assassin's Creed Mirage came out yesterday. I'm seeing really positive and some mixed things about it, but it's returning to form, which is really awesome, so maybe we'll see that on sale. Uh, but honestly, your better chance is Black Friday. And then Lies of P, if you love Soulsborne games, this is one of the most underrated and under-the-radar type of games. It's got a Disney take of a twisted version of Pinocchio, 
and it's like Dark Souls. I I love the demo. I have yet to play the freaking game, which is ridiculous. But that game being on sale, or it could be something rare we're not going to find. Who knows? Only time will tell when we find out about this GameStop ad. Keep in mind, this is not going to be a Black Friday video. You're going to see Black Friday videos coming soon. That is where this channel started, and that's where we're going to pick up. We're going to make so many videos about deals en route to Black Friday slash Thanksgiving Christmas. And prediction number five, this one needs to freaking happen. Buy two, get one free on Switch games, and literally Best Buy, if you're a freaking upper tier member, meaning Plus, or uh, My Total Tech, which is insane, but that's good if you need computer help and TV help, etc. You have noticed that there's a buy two, get one free Switch thing, and honestly made a deal about this, as you see on the screen right here, about months ago. And that same deal is still going on. So if you were looking for Switch games, that Best Buy membership pays it in dividends. But GameStop, freaking GameStop, has yet to jump on this deal, has yet to make this deal happen. Can they possibly bring it for Wander and Super RPG for pre-order? Or is it going to be like Luigi's Mansion 3 and Skyward Sword and all the other Switch games? It doesn't matter. I hope it happens because GameStop has been really lackluster when it comes to buy two, get one free on Switch deals. And Switch deals in general, yeah, there's some games like Hyrule and Mario Party that freaking had like a buy one, get one free thing. Again, good luck finding those deals. But buy two, get one free, Best Buy needs to happen at GameStop. Even if it's just for this week, it will really, really help GameStop capital it will really help GameStop get its upper edge when it comes towards Black Friday. It's a really GameStop needs to do this, seriously. This is a long time coming and hopefully it happens. Alright guys, that is it for today's video. Let me know in the comment section below what your thoughts and predictions are for this pro week. Uh, really glad to make this video today. Hopefully a lot of these things come true with Lorcana, Pokemon 151, 151, whatever you want to call it. But I really hope that things come together for this Pro Week and make it a really good one. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. Stay tuned for streaming some of the games coming up. Um, stay also awesome, stay positive, well, stay safe. That's a very important thing there. And stay tuned. I'll make a video once the Pro Week ad actually leaks. Peace out, guys.